The short answer, yes. The long answer, yeah, but maybe. You see inside this tiny house, we have one sphere workbench, six different types of storages, a cooler, a lamp, five pal beds, a fine bed, a high quality workbench, a repair bench, a pal workbench, decorations, including carpets, chairs, clock. And in the backyard, I have it restricted into a one by one area, one wheat and one berry farm. Everything is accessible. You can sleep in the bed. You can access all of the storages. You can use all of the benches. Your pals will think there are beds that they can sleep in. So they will just sleep outside on the ground. So let's have a little tour. In the front yard, we have our sphere workbench. We have two storages. We have a flower bed for our gathering speed. Over here on the side of the house, we have one more storage. And then I have my farms right here in the back. And then some slight decorations. We can open the door just fine. Inside, we have one, two areas of storage. We have our lamp. I did not build a generator for this. We have a cooler. And over here to the right, we have our five pal beds. Another storage here in the form of a cabinet, a wall shelf, another antique wall cabinet. We have our dirty clothes hamper, a fine bed, which is able to be slept in. You can access the repair bench, you can access the high quality workbench, you can access the pal gear workbench, and then I can sleep in the bed. So you can fit a lot of things inside of the tiny house. That doesn't mean you should use one. One downside of these tiny houses your pals really can't access anything that's in there. You could combat this, however, by obviously not living in a tiny house. I did this basically as a challenge to myself to see how small I could keep a building, make it functional to the point where I can use everything that's in it, have several types of storage, have beds for my pals in there, and also adding some decoration to it so it's not just filled with pal beds all over the walls. I think it looks nice. It was a fun challenge. Will I use this? So yeah, I basically built this by starting off with a really small 3x2 stone foundation. I built up a 1x3, just this little section right here. I quickly realized that that wasn't going to be enough. Needed like one more 1x1 one one to really fit everything that I needed while also adding in some decorations. After settling with the foundation, I originally wanted to try to keep flat roofs. I felt like... The slanted roofs were giving me extra space that I didn't want to use. But after I looked at it from the outside, I didn't like how it looked. So I compromised, did half. I think I did it in the right spots. Maybe. It wasn't that hard to build. Your pal beds, which are built on the wall by using benches, as well as the, the bed. I did post a video about that. I'll link it. It'll be right in the corner or whatever if you want to learn how to do that if you don't know already. I did the same thing with the farm. I used a small stool and a tire. All in all, it's a fun build. Yes, you can put everything you need in the early game inside of an HGTV style tiny house. It's semi-functional. I can go in there. I can access everything. My pals, on the other hand, are stuck sleeping on the ground. So if, if you're okay with that, which it seems like most of the people are, then there you go. Anyways... Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support I've been getting. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like. It'll really help me out as I am a tiny tuber just like this house. Peace, love your friends, and wash your hands, please. Okay, bye.